hundreds of people across Michigan made their way to Flint for the Mid-Michigan Wrestling Association 2020 State Finals. Altogether, we might have about 1,100 kids. Greg Wojciechowski is the president of the MMWA and tells me it takes a lot of hard work for competitors to get to this point. Well, this is our uh, yearly state meet. Um, the kids who have qualified at our regionals, we take the top five from each regional. We have three different regionals. So usually end up with about um, 15 kids on a chart, and this is our state tournament, so we're going to end up with some state champions today. So there were 24 mats, all going at once, ranging in age from youth wrestlers through high schoolers, something that Tony Black says takes mental toughness. In order to wrestle at a tournament like this, I mean, th these wrestlers are competing all season. They're practicing probably once, two, three times a week, um, some even more than that. Right, working on their skills and mental toughness training, physical training. He's with USA Wrestling and traveled to Flint to cover this tournament. He says wrestling could very well be helping to shape these young boys and girls. I mean, our society certainly needs more people that have gone through the battles uh, as a wrestler, both boys and girls. Uh, and, you know, tournaments like this nationwide are providing that opportunity. In Genesee County, Ashland Hill, WNEM TV5.